Welcome to the program. Now, Alliance for Accountable Governance, AFAG, is making a strong case against government, hinting the country can only boast of well-organized corruption after several revelations. The group cites a number of corruption revelations, including the payment of over 7 million Ghana cities to some 20,000 non-existent national service personnel, and a recent revelation that Commissioner of Human Rights and Administrative Justice Loretta Lamte allegedly spent about 20,000 US dollars on her rent alone. Now, the group is saying it is unhappy with government's handling of these cases, hence the need to protest on November 4 this year. But the question is, are they justified to doing this? And joining me in the studio uh, with more on this is David Sopoku, an executive member of the group who, 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 who we're actually built to speak to him but we have in the studio Wesley uh, and uh, he's actually the uh, Deputy General Secretary of Alliance for Accountable Governance. Uh, Wesley, thank you very much for joining us. So you yeah. held a press conference today and you're emphatic you're going to go all out to go on a demonstration. Wesley, also, w would you be right in doing this? Uh, well, thank you very much. A very, very good evening to our, our viewers. Now when you look at the current situation that Ghana is facing now. The level of corruption is frightening. It's very frightening. You look at some of the issues that have been revealed in recent times mm. and you, you want to ask yourself, are we really doing enough to benefit the larger society, mm. to benefit the bigger picture, rather than limiting the so-called better Ghana to a few individuals who are living lavishly, who are living very well, off the taxes of the ordinary Ghanaian, mm. selling onions, selling tomatoes to make it. Let, let me just cut in here and, 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 and look at your conclusion that government is not doing enough. Does it stem from the specific cases that you've mentioned? I mean, one which got to do with the uh, Commissioner for Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Loretta Lamte. You've also mentioned the issue of the uh, National Service Secretariat. Now, look at the various uh, issues around it. NSS, for instance, we know investigations are ongoing. We know the BNI is involved. Is that not commitment enough in dealing with corruption? If, if when you want to streamline it down to just corruption that has been exposed, you will miss the bigger picture. You see, it is, it, there are two sides to every coin. It is one thing talking about it. It is another thing actually doing something about it. Mm. We don't see why the government will continue to keep majority of Ghanaians in, in, in stress, giving them pressure, giving them stress. Things they could have easily dealt with would have to lag behind for a very long time then turn into a canker. But, but the point is, there are processes. And, and we, we, in the case of uh, the National Service Secretariat and, and the rot that, that's been discovered or, or reviewed, I, I mentioned to you that the BNI is involved. Investigations are ongoing. In the case of Loretta Lamte, you obviously would want to see a situation where certain processes will be, will, will, would have to go through certain processes. And, and fighting corruption, the argument then again is that it's not a one-time event. So what really do you want from government? What, what, when you, when, let's break this down. When the NDC government um, um, came into power somewhere in 2000 and, somewhere in 2000 and, exactly, go ahead. 2009. Yes. Ghana's debt at the time was pegged at around 8 billion mm -hmm. Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. Now, in less than five years, it has risen to somewhere around 58 billion Ghana cities. Mm. That is about 44 billion in five years. There is no country that would be proud of this. The argument that is being raised by government communication is that every country owes. Mm. It is true every country owes. But when you look at the magnitude of the debt, mm. and you look around the country and the gross indiscipline. But how do you reconcile that to the steps that have been taken by government to, to deal with corruption? We've heard the president in the United States of America mention the fact that if the act falls on any of his members in government, he's, he's willing to make sure that the law deals with him or her. 
We we have not seen Wouldn't enough actions. Wouldn't you give that, this administration credit enough? They have been in power for five years, mm -hmm. and these things continue to reoccur. And the, 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 the story what goes... Is re what is reoccurring? The reoccurring is when that... When investigations are being conducted. My brother... In the case we, of we, we've the been, National Service Secretariat, which you mentioned. We've been in this country, at least we've witnessed the last five years. We know that we talk about it two, three days down the line, and nobody talks about it again. Yeah. Everybody goes home happy. And a few days, few months later, the same issues, so similar issues would arise again. We we'll talk about it, and we don't get anywhere. Mm. How long do we want to subject ourselves to this unending cycle? Mm. Let, let me have you hold on and uh, introduce into uh, the program uh, Don uh, Emmanuel Agbenyo. He's the convener for Young Democrats. And you are against the fact that AFAG is insisting that nothing is being done uh, in, in dealing with corruption. So you don't want AFAG to go on a demonstration. Why? Seriously, um, thank you very much. Uh, and good evening to your listeners. It's amazing that apply in dealing with issues of rock, which is a delicate one, of course. And from all indications, uh, he, my good brother from Africa, can attest to the fact that it is not an, uh, a one-day event. It has been uh, uh, over the years, over the regimes, there has been a canker of uh, corruption. Mm that have been uh, bedeviling this nation. Mm. And uh, over the previous regimes, you can see that uh, a little effort was made. But that for it to be shown that I there thought, has been a corruption, I even for somebody to accept, I as it's was looking in the words of Kufo then, yes. that corruption begins from Adam. Mm. There wasn't any effort at tracing, at exposing, the, and the, the level of corruption but, but how much was the case in those regimes. But how much but time? currently, yes. you can attest to the fact that government with all his uh, arsenals, with all his powers mm. that has been enshrined in the constitution, can shoot all whatever means that is, is available for, for exposing this corruption mm. by, I think, both steps is being taken. But, but, to but, make sure but how that much time people are does government aware of the need fact that to fight corruption needs to fight done. How right. much time does government need to fight corruption? Seriously speaking, when you are in a democracy mm. and you are in a, a country which is governed by law, of course you ought to allow the wheels of justice to grind. You don't uh, come in with any dictatorial or any form of riot to, to, to indicate that you are about solving problems. To me, you are rather being a virus mm. who is affecting the core of action being taken, but, but, but for you, but for you resolving the issue. Before I bring in, uh, 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 of course, uh, the, the representative from Afag, let me just find out from you: Are you really confident in what government is doing in, in fighting corruption? Amazingly, I have never been overconfident. I must say, why? Because I'm not supporting government in totality. Why? Because one, the effort being made to me. What are those efforts? Check. Give the us effort, specifics. Uh, specifics are mm. the fact that. When Jida issues arose, mm. I think people are being prosecuted for that. When Suba issues arose, prosecuted, you mean they are they are in court? Yes. Right. And that, of course, that is the rule of law. You can't just go and hang people like a Sharia law, kill them by the sword, or stone them to death. But the revelation came is is until recently that we heard that some actions are being taken in the law court. I'm talking about Jeddah. That is indeed is the rule, the, the course of law. No, but it's law, until recently that we heard that yes, some actions are being taken. Whatever period it takes, you know, the law, it's, 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 the fields of justice run, grind slowly mm -hmm. and ought to be slowly until, because one, if you are sentenced to death, okay, and the, the fields of justice is not able to detect that, of course, you are innocent of the crime. Mm -hmm. If you are killed, that cannot be corrected. And so many things ought to be according to the rule of law. And so you're asking Alpha to calm down seriously and, and, and take a wait and see posturing. Exactly. Is that what you're going to do, Wesley? The wait and see. The, the, the numerous projects that has been abandoned in this country. There has been housing projects, some of which did not even see the light of day. STX mm. is one of them. There is one from South Africa, Guta or Guba, something in that direction. Never saw the light of day. Now, when we want to limit ourselves to recent exposés, mm. we would then have to mean that we are looking at 
the bottle with two eyes. You can't look inside the bottle with both eyes. It is not possible. Mm. You see, when you, when you travel around the country and you see roads that have been abandoned and you compare the, the amount of money that is supposed to be used to, to, to make this road more travel, you compare it to the amount of money people are misusing in government today, you would ask yourself if these people have conscience, if they have a heart, if they have the country, mm. and they really believe that this is a country where all of us collectively are stakeholders, mm. I do not in any way mm. associate myself with the choice of words my brother is using about his examples are always stemming for killing people and you have to crucify somebody, stoning somebody. No, we are in a democratic dispensation. We have a displeasure. It is our constitutional right to say that at this point, we believe that the government is not doing enough. The government has has expressed a lot of but what do you want to see court. What, what what do you want to see done before you say look government is taking steps to fight corruption you hear emmanuel don't don't mention that look uh in the case of Jeddah, uh, cases in court and 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 again i go back to the nss the national service secretariat matter i mentioned to you that investigations are being conducted as well so what specifically does afag want to see before i would say look government is doing something Let's stay back and watch how far it goes. Let, let us pick certain institutions and let's see how far they have come. Pick the NHIS. What, what amount of progress is going on in the NHIS now? Pick Maslock. Look at the school feeding program. Mm. You put all of these things on the table and you know that we haven't made any serious progress as a country. 44 billion is what has been accrued as debt. We currently stand at 58 billion debt. And when you look at this, it is not the ordinary tomato seller down there that is causing us this pain. It is not. It is the people who go and buy embryo and people set up commissions, their bosses. In this case, I am talking about President Mahama. You who had institutions right. like Shiraj, right. who are causing Ghanaians distress. Alleged. Let, let me have you hold on the line and uh, bring in now Roland Agbasa. He is an anti-corruption uh, crusader. Thank you very much. I hope I got the name right. It's Akabza. Akabza. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Akabza. very well. So now, this is what we have. Uh, Alliance for Accountable Governance is saying that uh, government hasn't done enough in, in fighting corruption. For that reason, they're going to go on a demonstration. Now, there's also this argument that uh, in the case of Jeddah, we have the case in court. Uh, in the case of the National Service Secretariat uh, scandal, which broke recently, investigations are being conducted. Would any civil society group like AFAC be right? To embark on a demonstration insisting that government hasn't done enough in fighting corruption yes okay thank you very much and and good evening to uh, all your listeners i mean as uh, corruption is a big issue now and looking at uh, the, the piece at which we are going i mean it's something that every Ghana should be concerned about so if attack is uh plan of going demonstration with the with the thinking that much, uh, enough has not been done I think it's not out of place. However, I would want to take caution the point that we don't want to, one of the problems we're able to tackle corruption is because of the perceived politicization of corruption. Mm. Um, if there are specific cases that uh, in terms of uh, issues of one government to tackle, I think we can look at them. But if you want to point out some issues, like if you rightly mentioned some of them are in court, mm. um, and then the recent one where they have uh, brought uh, what we call national service that there's mm. some work has been done, mm. that has been doing. But that is not enough. The whole thing is uh, endemic and systematic. So we need to look at the system in general. But, but so what makes it difficult work? for anyone to, you know, come to terms with the way the system operates? What will make someone doubt the way the system operates? And for that matter, we'll come to a conclusion that Look, enough is not being done. 
Yeah, that's a, it's because of the historical records that um, uh, from the, for if you look at uh, the, the path of uh, uh, fighting corruption, when people commit corruption, what we normally do is that we don't punish them. And you can see from even uh, the past, since uh, uh, 1992, and uh, since we came to democratic uh, dispensation, we have not done much in terms of punishing people who have committed corruption. And therefore, people have come to then look at corruption as a normal aspect of life, mm. rather than an exception. And as you can see, in most of these cases, when they end up even in court, the issues are how long it is to resolve them. It takes almost like forever. And people then get used, uh, uh, get, 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 get tired of it. Mm. And then the point is that then people then have the question, after all, if you commit corruption, and probably you are, let me put it, with the lead, then you are likely to go scot free. So I think it is from that angle that I will sympathize with uh, AFAC, that if you look at it from that perspective, then you will say it's not, has, it's, it's not done. But if you want to look at it from just uh, one particular government, then th there might be issues. But as I said, it's, about, it's systematic. It's not just about uh, one off issue. It's something that we need to look at it holistically. And I think we just want to put pressure on government. We need to put pressure on, on government to look at it holistically. And just look at what happened to a, a national service secretary. If we want to go to other areas and do similar investigations, we will unravel a lot more, even than, than what we are getting. And therefore, I'm happy that something ha uh, like national service uh, secretary issue has come up. But I think what we should do is put pressure on government to look at other areas. Okay. Now, what, what, what the other problems. areas? What the yeah, other areas be uh, the, the need to also look at the, the number of committees that are being set up to look into some of these matter. We have the presidential commission of inquiry for for that matter, looking yeah. into the uh, various issues that broke out during the World Cup 2014. Now, so, someone will sit back and say, "What do these committees do? How powerful can they be in the fight against corruption?" Yes, for the commissions, I, I, I'm not doubting the, the, the usefulness of them, but the point that at the aftermath after the, those com commissions, what happens? And we have seen many commissions set up to investigate similar, similar issues, mm -hmm. and nothing has come out of, out of them. What I'm saying is that, just like the National Service Secretary, the people have taken, they have been taken to uh, police to, uh, police station, and then we want to make them appear to court. Mm -hmm. That is what, that is the kind of action that we want. But the commission is another way. But after the commission, what happens? And, and I think that there was a ruling, uh, 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 I'm not a legal person, that when somebody appeals for a commission, you cannot use it in the court of law. I think in one of the cases like that. And, and I don't know whether that applies to this commission that has been set up. Um, but the point is that a lot of it, we don't need commission mm. to set up. Particularly, we have public accounts committee that comes in year on almost every year telling us how much that uh, people have embezzled or how much inefficiency has, 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 uh, has okay, come right. as a result of public service not doing their work. And nothing has been done against them. Okay, Roland, I'm going to have to so, thank you very much. But, but just, okay, just hold on the line. Go. Hold on the line for, for me for a while. Uh, let me bring in uh, Dawn at this particular moment. And, 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 and a, a case in point that Roland sets, uh, for instance, is the number of committees that have been set up, the commissions and all that, and the kind of doubts about what kind of outcome w will be as far as their work is concerned and, and how we can reconcile that as far as the fight against corruption is concerned. Now, how do you clear these doubts? Seriously speaking, I think uh, Roland makes some vi valid points that indeed we have uh, politicized corruption, and which of course we ought to distinct corruption from this politicization. If not, we won't fight it at all. Fine. What we're saying now is but, that... But we can't run away from the yes, fact that the, assurance the, the, the perception remains that politicians have been corrupt. Seriously, it's our institutions. Of course, uh, if you heard Obama when he retreated... Africa, he says that we need strong institutions and not strong men. And of course, our institutions have been in existence from Adam, I mean, from the colonial th times to uh, independence till now. And these institutions, headed by individuals, have been corrupt. So, so, and that, so, so of course, the institutions. Now. Yes, we need to strengthen institutions. Right. And for now, those institutions have been strengthened in order to come out boldly. Okay. In order to report corruption, hold, hold and on. Such people who are far culpable will be dealt with. Hold on, let me but bring you. But when they start investigation right. and you are shouting to me, it is 
something about okay, my Wesley, we ought to you, take you heard Don, he says these institutions that are supposed to be strengthened, of course, work is being done. They, they, they are dealing with the situation, so we should relax. Uh, I want to thank Roland for coming in with a very interesting twist. Um, uh, corruption as it stands now, mm. if you want to act in any form as if you are, you are, you are condoning it in any form, you, you will be done. A lot of Ghanaians today are The institutions working, the yes or no? The institutions that it stands now, yes. I do not see them working to full capacity. Right. It is, right. an, it is, you, you it don't is see it. no, okay, no. I believe that they can do more than what they are doing now. I believe that our institutions can be can be better, can be can be more vibrant mm -hmm. than it is than it is now. Okay, we let, can do let, better than that. Let, let, me see, let me see if Roland, Roland shares the same view as, as you do. Uh, Roland, do, do you also have a, get a sense of feeling that the institutions haven't done enough in, in helping deal with corruption? Yeah, I think uh, exactly that, that, is, that, that is right. And I think that uh, we as citizens and civil society to begin to put pressure on these institutions to, to, hold, to hold it to account. Mm. Um, and then also the public servants. Let's not link, I'm not saying that politicians are, are exempt, but let's not just make everything like, okay, everything, we have to petition the president, everything is politics, everything is politics. The individuals that are in offices, let's hold them to account. Mm. The, in, the institutions that are supposed to be working, let's hold the institutions to account. And if those institutions are not working well, we should be looking at how we can make them work. I think that's okay. uh, because one you to be independent. As long as we are, we are fighting for them to be independent and to work well, then we should also be holding them accountable. Because those institutions are saying that, okay, we are independent, we, are, we want to work without influence from government or from the politicians like Sarraj, like the judiciary and all that. Mm. And okay. the police. In the same way, we have to hold them to account. Say, so, okay, have you delivered your mandate? Why are you not delivering your mandate? Like what has happened to Sarraj, I think that we should not let it rest. We should we should put pressure on the, uh, that institution is reformed to meet its uh, it obligations. Mm. So I think that, uh, that, that, that is right. Okay, Roland Akavza, thank you very much uh, for talking to us. Let me quickly go on to Afa again. And, and you keep asking of demonstrations. I, is it not too much? We want to, we want to like Roland rightly pointed mm. out, it is our duty as a civil society group mm. to put pressure on the institutions so that the institutions work because when the institutions work some of this quote-unquote alleged corruptions would be addressed look at nss for example mm. 7.9 million right monthly so so you think demonstration is the way to go we, that's, we, that's we, the only we, way we need, we need, we need to put pressure. people on their toes okay we need to make them know that we know what they are doing okay. and we are not comfortable with it as Ghanaians. we need to go on this demonstration right it is our right it is the right of every Ghanaian. okay so so the point wesley is making is that government doesn't seem to be doing much what do you say seriously speaking as i said we've come to a point where of course uh, demonstrations to me, though constitutionally right, has become irrelevant because a few day noise and it's over, and this same thing are on, these same things are ongoing. No, for me, the point where the uh, the issue is being brought out, mm. the point where investigation is go ongoing, mm. the point where people are being asked to resign, mm. to step aside for more investigation. To me, that is the end thing. And if extended to other institutions, as he rightly pointed mm. out, we would then be fighting corruption. But, but, but do you and agree that, that indeed it is, it, it is the action the mm. current government is taking? And all we need as people of Ghana to, is to make sure we protect the president, we support the president, how, we, how, we how, research how, and issue communicate. What form should that support take? Should it take uh, the situation where you exert pressure on the institutions? Do you think that's the way to go? That look, oh, let's on, put pressure on the institutions, see, get them to work. With the, with the institutions, as I rightly say, of course, the institutions have been there for long. Right. Civil servants have been there for long, and of course, if 
so much corruption is going on there. Definitely, we need to uh, do a research. We need to issue communique, and we need to pursue it even to the law court to see to it that whoever is found culpable is dealt with. And I see that point is where we are arriving now. All right, you've made your point. Uh, so nothing is going to stop you from embarking on this demonstration. Uh, I, uh, not, not, not when I continue excessive light and water bill and I switch my switch on and I don't have electricity and uh, I am uh, not and I would want to urge every Ghanaian out there on the off. 4th of November okay we beg for the sake of Ghana for posterity let us let the country know that corruption is not something mm. A pressure group. Okay. You've made your point. You've made your point. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. And, and certainly that'll be it for uh, uh, today's uh, big story. But coming up shortly is the interactive segment. And uh, today we're asking a very interesting question. To be reformed or not to be reformed? Stay with us.